Hey there YouTubers, it's Dan Strong again with Excel VBA is Fun. Continuing on with our user forms. In the last video you saw that we can dynamically load this combo box with um, with names from this worksheet, whether or not this worksheet is hidden, and depending on if the option button is clicked for employee ID, which would list the employee ID before the space hyphen space uh, name, um, or which of course you can search by just going and typing things, um, or you can click the name option button and that will reload everything with names first. The same entries, but now we're going to add a little bit uh, more, more to it. We are going to be able to um, sift out those who are inactive. So what we'll have to do is add a column. Let's add it right about here. And we'll call this our status. So some of these people will have an A, and some of them will have an I. So I'll go through and randomize some of that right now. One moment. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of uh, A's and I's. Now, I like to do a little something extra. I'm going to control shift down, control shift down, and I'm going to hit alt O D for conditional formatting. We're going to add a new role. And our rule is going to be based off of the top selected row. So let's click on the status. And we don't want exactly D2. We just want exactly. So I'll hit F4, F4. We want to lock it into column D, but not into row 2. We want it to be able to go down. So we're going to say <clears throat> D2 equals quote, capital I, end quote. And we'll set the format. We're basically saying if this is inactive. And if that's true, then we'll use the formatting. I want to gray out any lines that are inactive to act as a visual aid. So we'll click fill here. We'll go to some gray. Hit OK, hit OK, hit apply. So you notice that immediately all these inactive people are grayed out. Now, furthermore, I want to go to data, sort. Looks like it's selected my table. I want to sort by... Well, firstly, we want to sort by status, and then we'll add another level, and then we'll sort that by the employee, we'll do it by name. So, let's click OK. You notice it sifts all the inactive employees out to the bottom of the list, and all the active people are here, and of course, sorted alphabetically. So, that helps me tremendously. Hit Alt F11. We're going to add a checkbox, not a combo box, a checkbox right here. And let's create a little more room. I'll expand my user form a little. Uh, there we go. So we will write on this one, we'll say include inactive question mark. And that'll be my button, my check button. Uh, let's click on. The name of that we'll call it CB for checkbox. CB include inactive. Okay. So what do we want to do? Well, we're going to just going to modify our code to uh, figure out whether this button was pressed or not. So let's go back to our double click there. We're going to go back to our load CMB, which is in module five, and we're going to edit this even more. So, if inactive, dot, 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 there's my note to myself, Whew, here we go, if hide form dot cb include inactive equals true, then, then we're going to have to analyze some things. So, we will uh, let's copy and paste this. Well, first first of all, I'll, I'll indent it a little bit. So the first way, actually that's the second way. So we'll say, uh, let's copy this, control C. And I just pasted it, and I'm going to say else. 
and then I'll say end if at the bottom. All right, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at two identical, they look like spaceships kind of. Um, what we have here is, so if include inactive is true, then we do want to include uh, the inactive people. So that would be our, our original thing did include inactive people because we didn't even have a status. But the else, the otherwise means don't include inactive people. So here's the one we're going to concentrate on. Um, so let's say if uh, if if we want to sort it by employee ID, then uh, really either way, as we go through these loops, uh, let's see. Let's go into this first loop. We're going to say if. Uh, SD sheet dot cells x comma which one is status on one two three four so column four if that equals capital A then and only then do we go ahead and add this line to our comma box and if and you notice I just like reflex, I just indented that and put an end if at the end of my if then statement. Um, we'll do the same for this one down here. If SD sheet dot cells, oops, dot goodness, I didn't mean to hit that. Dot cells x comma four equals a then. Then do this, and we'll put an end if. All right, so that would do it. Um, I am going to show you something that happens. Uh, well, we'll just go through here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and make it a lowercase a, and I'm going to show you what happens. So let's go ahead and put a stop marker right here. We'll put a start marker right here. Okay. And what we want to do is go back to our user form. And we want to double click on this. And we want to say anytime that this is checked to also clear out and reload all that. So load the same one that we used in the last one. Which, oh, lucky me, it's right there. Control C, Control V to paste. So every time the include inactive thing is clicked or unclicked, it will load the same code that reorganizes and reanalyzes that entire form. So let's try this. Hit F5. All right, so we are here. Let's go through it. So row two, column four, it is a Let's go, to, so we'll add that one to our form, or to our combo box. Now this next one, you notice that uh, it is a lowercase a, so it actually would not be considered active, even though we consider it an a. Uh, what can you do to make this match up? You can say, if u case, the uppercase version of this text string, so and then of course put a, an in parentheses there. So if the U case, uppercase of whatever's in there equals A, and you'll see that I've hit F8 to debug, it actually considers that true. So the uppercase A is that. So let's do that to each of these. If U case of that equals the capital letter A, then blah blah blah. So let's go ahead and hit F5. You will now see that um, it should not include anybody. Okay, Shaka Zulu is the last one on the actives list. Now, if I click this, it will re evaluate the whole thing. And it should not just stop there at Shaka Zulu, it'll continue on and do the inactive folks as well. So, that's pretty much how we do that. Even if I click on name, It'll reorganize everything, but it will take into consideration that the inactive thing was checked. So it includes the inactive people at the bottom. 
only it reorganized them by name first. Employee ID first name first, <clears throat> but it is including an act. If I click that, it will redo the whole list, but it will only go down to Shaka Zulu, which is the last person on our actives section. And you don't have to sort this for it to work. It would still weed them out. So, thank you for watching.